Hey guys, Thora here, and welcome to a channel update slash vlog type thing. So, I just kind of wanted to explain why I recently I'd cut down from doing four videos to two videos a week. And basically, because I'm doing my ex A level exams, and if you don't know what they are, they're just some exams that you do when you're 17 and 18. Um, because I'm doing them, and if you've ever done an exam, you know how stressful they can sometimes be. I kind of wanted to cut down on the stress and just concentrate on doing my survival series and um, you know doing revision so I could do well in my exams. So basically that's what I've been doing and now that my exams are almost over and I only have one left, I thought that I could start kicking up the amount of videos that I put out. So basically that means there's going to be a lot more mini game videos as well as adventure maps and uh, that's alongside my survival series. And maybe even a new game that I've been thinking about starting. So that's pretty much it for the updates. I wanted to give a big thank you to Snake Doctor, who's recently helped me a lot with my channel. He's helped me um, make some thumbnails for my videos and just make the kind of homepage of my channel look a lot nicer. And I just want to say that I really appreciate all the help he's given me. And yeah, so I asked people on Twitter to give me some questions related to YouTube that I'd answer in this video and I'll get right onto them now. For a while I'd really wanted to start making a YouTube channel, but I think until I met Ash or Firadub, I didn't really think I would actually kind of make one, but he kind of inspired me to make a YouTube channel by seeing how far he'd come from such being like a little YouTuber and that made me really want to start a YouTube channel and I saw how much fun he was having with all the videos and with his friends and stuff and I knew I kind of wanted to be a part of that, so yeah. It honestly took me about 50 videos to be finally be happy with my first video that I put out there and although I think Gradually it got easier to make videos. I think it's always that kind of nervousness you get about putting your content out there that's kind of a hard bit to get over. And I think actually making the YouTube videos is quite easy. I think the harder bit is kind of trying to get subs and views and stuff. And I think the hardest bit is probably seeing people who um, People who just get really big because of the connections they have, not because they necessarily deserve it. And I know that sounds harsh, but there are quite a lot of people who just get really big because of who they know. And I don't know, I think that's hard to see from somebody who doesn't really have those connections. Yeah, that's my opinion anyway. Really, I've been watching Squid's videos for years, but it was Ash that actually that I actually met first, even though I met him through Squid, which is quite weird. Um, Squid was doing a live stream of the game, I think it was Worms or something like that, and Ash was on it, and I thought, oh, hey, this guy's pretty cool. So I asked him if he had a YouTube and if he had a Twitter, and we just kind of got talking, and we hit it off, and yeah, that's how I met Ash. And then, um, he was doing some live streams with Squid and I would always be there kind of playing on the games with them and I think Squid noticed me eventually and kind of recognised me from Twitter and from like being in all the live streams so yeah and Ash eventually kind of like introduced me to him properly I guess so yeah that's kind of how I met them I find this quite a funny question because if somebody asked me what my favourite game was I probably wouldn't say Minecraft which I don't know I enjoy Minecraft but I think games are more of like things with a storyline if that makes sense like I obviously Minecraft is a game but if I was to explain a game I'd say something with a storyline that you play like a fable or maybe even Oblivion or Skyrim or something so my favourite game is actually Assassin's Creed and I think it's the first game that I ever played on my Xbox and ever since I've, I've loved it. <laughs> and my favourite character is Ezio who I have a little kind of Funko pop figure thing in my body of 
and he's super cute, and he's definitely my favourite character in Assassin's Creed. I haven't been doing YouTube long, but to me it kind of means a big community of people who've really got together and they've kind of, they help each other to be bigger and better and just in general really better people. I think there's so many people who have helped other like kids or even adults just become generally nicer and better people, whether it's through video games or kind of little skits or even the people who do something nice, so like random acts of kindness. I think it just generally helps people to become more of a community and to become better people. I actually have two answers to this question. So the first one's kind of a generic answer of my favorite Minecraft YouTuber who is Captain Sparkles. Obviously I'd love to do a series with my favourite YouTuber, so that's kind of like a normal answer. And yeah, and my second kind of answer is Stampy Longnose. Now this is really because he is the first Minecraft YouTuber I watched. And I don't know, I always thought that it would be quite nice to play with the first YouTuber I ever watch. And I think it would be quite nice to do a series with him and stuff. And also I think it'd be quite nice just because I know that he is the reason that I kind of met Squid and Ash and even though it wasn't directly, I don't know, I think it would be quite cool to do a series with him and also just because he's an awesome YouTuber and an awesome Minecraft player even if he's a bit daft when it comes to redstone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like vlog slash Q&A type thing and if you enjoyed it, I guess, uh, let me know and I might do some more of these. I find it quite refreshing and different to have something new on the channel. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!